door's locked. The door's locked. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. It says, Greek Cantina. The Mediterranean Sea. Too bad there isn't a boat for me to rent for a little cruise around the island. It says Feta Factory. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. Here's where I... The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um, uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right. Just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Oh, 
Paul and William the Kid Thugs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, folks. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, Put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. That's the X-ray gum. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. I found the note. All right, now I need to find out where that key is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. His ticker looks like it needs winding. If I had a wrench in me, I would retch. If I could find that key, then I'd be making some progress.
Is that a gelatin mold? Close. It's a sailor's hat. You could always pour gelatin in it, I suppose. Aren't those conical, brimless hats called fezzes? If you say so. I've always thought of them as those funny-looking hats worn by old gentlemen driving those small cars in parades. That's such an intelligent-looking fish. It obviously swam in the best schools. You obviously have good taste in fish, sir. Although, I would not advise tasting this particular one. Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. I wonder what it would be like to steer a ship with one of those. Buy it, and you may have a hands-on experience. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. So what's the secret to your business's success? Three things. Location. 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 That's one thing. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas. But for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. It says trinkets. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, B. What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle foo trophy. I took lessons from Master Hong Kong Doodle. At least until I punched his stuffing out. So, is the food here any good? Well, between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. Here's a number that goes out to all you white tux wearing spies. Here's a number that goes out to all you white tux wearing spies. <laughs> 